Tonight, it was quite a scene for some residents this morning when a water main blew out, causing rising waters and making some streets impassable. What a mess. 7 Action News reporter Ross Jones has the soggy story from Detroit's west side. For a few hours this morning, homes along Six Mile and Evergreen were waterfront property. But let's be clear on this Black Friday, no one was thankful for this view. We tried to work, you know, to open our business, but we can't do nothing right now. Crews were on the scene early this morning trying to diagnose the problem and said the culprit was a 12-inch water pipe that either cracked or broke entirely. Some drivers took their chances, traversing the troubled waters to fill up their tank or get to the store. They made it through okay, but others, like Henry Fielder, had a tougher time. After his minivan stalled, he climbed onto the roof and waited for a good Samaritan to bail him out. I didn't even see the water, so I got up in here, and I tried to bag back, and it stopped out for me. I tried to bag out. The cavalry came in the form of some Detroit firefighters. Henry made it out okay, but his car could use some work. The good news, said a spokeswoman for the water department, is that the break left no one without water. And for at least one resident, we noticed, it made for a pretty good show playing out in her own front yard. In the meantime, if you're ever caught in the same predicament that Henry found himself in this morning, take some advice from a guy who's been there. Yeah, be careful. But watch where you're going. That's about it. By this afternoon, crews got the flooding under control, but we're still working on the scene. There is no word yet on when repairs will be complete. From Southfield tonight, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Well.